Let's revisit the difference between pages, assignments, and modules. Starting with pages, pages are used when you want to deliver content from teacher to student. So a page may be text, links, videos. When I go to create a page, the main component of a page is the rich content editor. Now inside this rich content editor, I can do things like link to assignments. I can add pictures. I can add videos. I can have access to these external apps as well. So there's a lot of content that can be added in. But again, this is a one-way delivery from teacher to student. For assignments, if I go to create an assignment here, I still have that rich content editor starting me out. This is where, again, I can link in videos, I can add in other links, but with an assignment, I'm expecting a two-way transaction. I give the students information in this rich content editor, and they give me information back. So that submission type is what kind of information am I getting back from them? If I'm going to have them turn something in through Canvas, which is preferred because it will be much easier on their end and on your end to tell if something has been completed and keep track of that whole system, especially during distance learning. So are they going to submit a text box to me? Are they gonna upload a file? Or am I gonna use an external tool to create and track that submission? The other option is if the students are going to complete something that is not collected through Canvas, you can choose that there is no submission or the submission is on paper. When you use a due date, this item now is going to go on the calendar, going to go on their to-do list, which adds an extra layer to what most pages are used for. Again, so assignments are that two-way transaction. You expect something back from the students. When you create that assignment, you're going to create a space in your grade book where you're going to be inputting grades and other feedback for the students. Now, the last piece of this puzzle is modules. Modules are a collection of, and here's the symbol for pages, their collection of assignments. They can also include links to other locations. Much like using the rich content editor, you can bring in a variety of items into one module. The difference between using a module and using instead a page where I link each of these items in order, the difference is in this module, you can actually control the flow in which a student sees these items. In this module, completion rules have been used to show that the student has to view this item, then submit this item, and do so in order. So if I take a look at the requirements, the students must move through the requirements in sequential order, controlling the flow a little bit better than you could by just doing the links on a page. Pages, assignments, and modules work together, but each have an individual purpose in Canvas.